stitch today this flower. So I've got a um, um, variegated uh, thread and it goes from the light shade to the dark one. Um, it's actually a lot of light shade here, so I'm probably will be able to feel this inner circle with the lightest color and darker color will go uh, around. You can use just two colors if you want, if you don't have any variegated threads. The light one in the center and darker uh, around or backwards. You can do darker color inside and lighter one outside. So whatever you like, uh, both ways will look great. So I'm using this kind of threads. This is Gamma, but DMC also have such variated colors as well as Encore and other brands. I'm gonna start from the center here and I'm using all six strands right now. This is a sample page from my Patreon program. So my patrons are actually <laughs> sponsoring those videos for you guys. And you can get all of the sample patterns on my Patreon if you join a Stitching Club here. Yeah, my thread a little bit long, but it's okay. Just no hurry and you'll get there without any knots. <laughs> Those flowers are just examples how lazy daisy can be used and where. Perfect stitch for creating some flowers and teeny leaves. And this page was created especially for practicing this type of stitch. So when you will finish, uh, when you will complete this page, you will be master the technique and you will feel confident when we'll be doing this kind of stitch in future in your projects. Okay, so I did uh, this inner ring already. I'm gonna finish this thread and start over with another shade of it. So I'm gonna switch it to another side. So this is how my back side looks like right now. So I have my thread here and this is the knot where I started. And uh, to finish it, I'm just gonna go uh, under my stitch here. I'm not touching the fabric at all and I'm gonna do a loop and it's gonna create a little knot like this and I'm gonna go under my previous stitches like this and this way I'm hiding my ends and now I can cut really close. So I'm gonna cut it here and now I can start my new thread, but I'm actually will be continuing this one. So I'm just gonna move the uh, needle to the lighter part. Here I'm gonna create a knot because I'm going to be stitching with this part of the color. So I'm pointing my needle exactly in the uh, circle line and when I'm stitching I'm just carefully pointing my needle in the free space but really close to my previous stitches like that. See where you have this kind of stitch? You can like find the thread which is like longer or something and you can yeah, like fix it off oh, here i found it so this is was this strand now you can like untwist 
the strand because if you feel that it's twisted too much so you can fix it like this like just brush your strands this way a few times with lazy daisy stitch is pretty easier than if you would do french knots because you can easily fix it or undo entirely this stitch if you don't like it you can undo it and do it again I'm gonna fill the center using uh, French knots. Okay, let's go with two strands and fill the center. I'm gonna be wrapping probably two or three times. Yeah, I'm gonna be wrapping three times to make bigger French knot here. And I'm gonna make a French knot around this line to create uh, like a border and the shape for this flower and then I will be just fi simply filling all the rest. For French knots I have entire video tutorial, I have even two video tutorials on my YouTube channels about all the mistakes people usually do when they do French knots. And please let me know in the comments which of the mistakes you actually do. And I already have an entire French knots page, sample page for French knots only, and you can master the technique by doing French knots. There's a lot of French knots on this page. So now I'm filling the center. You can do outside line with like one color and feel everything inside maybe in a different shade you can feel it with orange for example so you can play with it i have a lot of projects where i use beads um, for the center of my flowers instead of french knots so if you don't like french knots this is a uh, a great option for you so this is my flower you can do different colors you can do beads you can do whatever you like with this flower you can experiment you can try different combinations so i cut my thread this way so this is the light this is the darker already shades and I'm gonna start stitching from the top of the leaf with the lightest shade and I will be moving down and the color will be changing. I'm making my knot on the light part. color started changing it's getting darker here you know before uh, all those years I was teaching some complicated designs I was teaching a lot of long and short shading and people who just follow with me they think that it's too complicated and they don't even try so i decided to go back to the basics and show how simple embroidery can be it's really simple especially with video tutorials nothing too scary about just the simple stitches and it's really enjoying kind of activity it's peaceful and mindful kind of craft that you can do when you can listen the music or you can also listen some podcasts or maybe watching some TV shows. And it actually can create a nice gift for your family and friends. I started with a darker shade right now and I started from the bottom of the leaf. If you don't want to use all six strands right here, you can use four strands or three strands. They also gonna look great. And you can do a combination of different stitches. 
You can do two lazy daisies and one back stitch. And then again, two lazy daisies and one back stitch. The last lazy daisy stitch. And I'm done. I really like how it turned out. I hope you like it too. Bye guys.